Hello everybody, uh, Peter of England here giving you another update on the current situation regarding the uh, claim that I made on, um, I think in the beginning of May, concerning the reclamation or the taking back of England. Uh, I made a prediction that something on the 15th of May, which is uh, uh, an 800th year anniversary of the signing over of the country um, to powers that shouldn't have ever taken possession of it, uh, was made. And as many of you will know, if you followed in the newspapers, on the 14th, the Antitrust um, Division of the Criminal Justice Department of the European Commission uh, made a raid on the headquarters of both British Petroleum and Royal Dutch Shell's headquarters. So, why has this happened and what exactly is happening in the background? Um, maybe that's uh, for our, our next video. But uh, what I'd like to say is that um, we, I made this declaration, I made this statement, um, something happened that was pre-warned, um, and to keep the momentum going now, what we've done to help unpick the, uh, the, these uh, socio-political uh, and economic knots that have been tied around your neck, is we've formed a, a global class action lawsuit, which we've referred to in a previous video, which is in this playlist. So what I'm doing today is to let you know that I have personally informed British Petroleum at Milton Keynes, uh, a lady there called Alexa Pickersgill, who is the PA to the head of the legal department. I also uh, notified a, the head of legal department in, um, uh, of Shell, Royal Dutch Shell in the Netherlands, in The Hague. I had a legal there as a guy called Peter Rees. So these were informed. Um, I've also, in the past, as you will see if you visit the Facebook page um, and also the blog, uh, that letters are on there, which I posted uh, in 2000, sorry, which I wrote in 2008, making these accusations. So, um, the price fixing has been going on for a good many years, 70 years to my knowledge. Uh, in truth, maybe even longer than that. But the point is that you as a motorist, you as a person who's bought fuel or any oil-related product has been overcharged. We have set up now a global class action um, group litigation uh, order which will allow you to bring this claim into the courts and also into and before a common law court of record. Why we've done this is just in case the powers that be, uh, the Illuminati, call them what you will, decide to cleverly play this uh, a la a Dickensian novel and uh, try to extract all the money out of the parties in, uh, um, should we say, prolonged and protracted litigation where only the barristers and the lawyers uh, make any money. So, on that point, we have found a law firm in the City of London itself who are provisionally interested. Um, they will take the case. However, what it depends upon now is you. We need people. We need people to join and show some sort of a commitment. As many of you have maybe seen, the Serious Fraud Office is working with the City of London to try and find out what has actually gone on in the price manipulation uh, and the pricing of the oil and on the futures markets, etc. Uh, but if you can have a look at what the Serious Fraud Office has done and its successes in the past, um, then I wouldn't wait a long or hold my breath on that. They're probably about as useful as, a, as, a, as an ashtray on an motorbike. Um, they're in the pay of the City of London their investigations will take us nowhere. So, what we are in desperate need of, only from the fact of a community perspective, is we require people. We require people to join this group class action lawsuit, which is listed on Facebook. If you go into www.facebook.com slash global class action, or equally type in Peter of England, that will take you to the class action lawsuit page. Now, it's better for us to have 100,000 people in total, or 10,000 paying £10 to join this, than 
one person coming along, for example, with a million pounds. This isn't about money, it's about people sending a message to the powers that be, to the City of London, that a move is on the cards. Now, I've actually gone out uh, or come along in the past and made various declarations on what was happening uh, as far back as 2003, 2004. I'm not new to this campaigning. I'm not new to these claims that I've made. However, what I am new to is the fact that we now have on the site nearly 1,000 subscribers. We have over 30,000 views, which isn't astronomical, but all I'm asking for you now to do is the following. The subscribers that are watching this now, please pass this video. Send it to anyone you can think of. Send it to your local council. Send it to your MP. Send it to your friends in your contact list, but send it to someone. We need people to join. The number of subscriptions that we have in the, fa in the past week alone show that we can do this, but we can only do it with you. I can't do it. They'll, I, I'm nothing on my own. We're needing what's called people power. So please go and visit the Facebook site. Please go and visit the blog spot. Um, please pass the video around, and we thank you for, for circulating this. If you wish to have people such as Max Kaiser, Gerald Salente, David Icke, Stuart Webb, John Perkins of Confessions of an Economic Hitman uh, fame. If you haven't read the book, go and read it. If you want these people involved, you've got to do a little bit more to show that you're willing and have the appetite to take on this class action global litigation. So, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Peter of England here. Goodbye. Till next time.